Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And since today is Halloween, I thought it would be fun to do a Halloween movie review. And I'm dedicating this movie review to my older brother Walter as an early Christmas present. Walter, I love you so much and I hope you like this review. And today's movie review is going to be on The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm sure you guys all know what The Nightmare Before Christmas is about, but I know, um, but I thought I would just like, just go into the spiel of what it's about. So The Nightmare Before Christmas is about the skeleton named Jack Skellington who is sick and tired of the same old thing that happens every year on Halloween. So he wants to try and change it up. So he comes across, change it up and he, up and he comes across this, these doors full of different holidays and he finds himself walking into the Christmas door and he discovers Christmas and decides to take over Christmas and have like a new plate, new celebration for his town of Halloween town. So to start off, I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite movies. It's also one of my brother's favorite films, which is why I dedicated this movie review to him. And um, it's such a great film. It's so much fun. I love the design of the characters. I love the claymation that Tim Burton did for this movie. I like the songs. I just love it for its story, its characters, and the fact that it's a Halloween film going into the Christmas season, sort of. It's like a mix between Christmas and Halloween, which I really, really like, and I think it's super cool. Well, it's really one of my favorite movies, and I just really enjoy it, and it's a favorite of my brother's as well. Well, so next I'm going to talk about who directed this. This is directed by Henry Selick, and the only film I know he directed was James and the Giant Peach, which is also one of my favorite movies. Um, comment down below if you guys would love a review on James and the Giant Peach as well. Next, I'm going to talk about the characters. I'm going to try my best to go by everything really quickly so this review doesn't get way too long. So... I really like Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington is actually my brother's favorite character from this film. I really like him just because I love the fact that he's curious about things. I really love that he wants to change up the routine of Halloween and try to find something new to do. And I also love his knowledge um, and his curiosity for things, especially about Christmas. And I just really enjoy his character and his personality as well. And he's voiced in by Chris Sanderson, who does his speaking voice. And he's from The Princess Bride, and he played Prince Humperdinck. And his singing voice is done by Danny Elfman. And Danny Elfman played himself in Flubber. He was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory 2005, and he played in Oompa Loompa. And he was also in the movie Corpse Bride, and he voiced the character Bone Jangles. Next, I'm going to talk about Sally. Sally is another character I love from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I love the fact that she has romantic feelings for Jack. I love that she cares about him. I love that she does everything she can to be a good friend to him. And I really love that she will do anything to help him and make sure he's safe, okay, And I'm glad, and I really like that she understands how he feels of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I just really love how she'll do anything to help him make Christmas better or, or save him from making a, mis a big mistake, which I really like. And she's voiced by Catherine, and she's like a um, rag doll with stitches. I don't know what they're called. Um, she's like a rag doll, and she's voiced by... Catherine O'Hara and Catherine O'Hara I recognize her from Home Alone as Kate McAllister Home Alone 2 as Kate McAllister who lost in New York as Kate McAllister she's in Over the Hedge and she voices Penny she's in the movie Brother Bear 2 and she voices somebody named Kata she's in the movie Penelope which I reviewed and she um voice she plays Jessica Wilhern and she is in The Addams Family and she voices Grandpa Frump Next, I'm going to talk about Dr. Fink Finkelstein. So, I don't like Dr. Fink Finkelstein. 
Um, he's very controlling of Sally, and I don't like the fact that he treats her like a slave, and I don't like the fact that he kind of like says really harsh, cruel things to her and then treats her badly, and I just don't like his attitude, but I do like the fact that he does help Jack and will do anything to help him make his Christmas dream come true. True, and he's voiced by William Hickey, and William Hickey, I'm not familiar with him in anything else but this movie. Sorry. Next, I'm going to talk about Zero. So Zero is Jack's ghost dog. I really like Zero because he's a very loyal pet to Jack, and I love that he loves Jack and he follows him around. It's super cute. I really just love he's that he's such a loyal pet to Jack and he cares about him and he'll do anything to help him and he's a really cute dog and I just love the fact that he cares so much for him and will be there for him as much as he needs him. And he's voiced by Frank Welker and Frank Welker I've seen in so many movies that if I named them all it would probably take up way too much time and you guys would sit here and just watch me talk for probably about an hour. Next, I'm going to talk about Santa Claus. So I like Santa Claus. I like the fact that he takes his job seriously about giving things to the good and then not giving anything to the bad. I love how he will, um, he knows what he's doing with his job. And I love the fact that he cares about everybody. And I also love how he kind of like hope spreads joy all around the world and I like how he tries to teach Jack not to take over other people's holiday jobs <laughs> which is pretty good next good and he's voiced by Ed Ivory and Ed Ivory I'm not familiar with him in anything else but this movie next I'm going to talk about Oogie Boogie I don't really like Oogie Boogie he kind of creeps me out just with his creepy behavior and I don't like that he scares everybody and he has a hatred towards Jack and I just really don't like that he will do anything to harm others and he's just a very cruel character and he's voiced by Ken Page and Ken Page I'm not familiar with him in anything else but this movie. Next I'm going to talk about the setting. I really like the setting of the the town of Halloween. I really love how it has like all the different like normal things you would see people put out for Halloween, like jack-o'-lanterns. I love how it has like the creepy looking, looking setting, like in the dark, which is pretty awesome. And I also love how it has um, all the, the different like ghost characters. And I like this setting. And Tim Burton did a really good job on the design of the Halloween characters because they all look very scary and creepy. And I really like how he made them and I love how he also made like the setting look very scary and I think that's super duper cool. Cool and I like how he added like the colors of Halloween like kind of like black grays and oranges to it which is pretty much Halloween colors which I really really like and I think it's really awesome and I love how he made all like the designs of the film look very creepy in general. Next I'm going to talk about the songs. So I really like all the songs of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I think they're really fun. My One of my favorites would have to be This Is Halloween. I really like it because it explains the holiday of Halloween and how they're scaring people and I really love how it talks about it introduces each character and what they do, which is pretty cool, and I really enjoy it. And this is sung by the cast of The Nightmare Before Christmas. If I said every single one of the actors in the film, that would just take way too long. Next, I'm going to talk about Jack's Lament. Oh, I have a video of me singing Jack's Lament. If you would like to see that video, it'll be linked in the description box down below. And this is a really good song. I like it because it explains Jack. And I really like the fact that it explains um, how he's getting sick and tired of doing the same thing every day, every year. And I love how he just explains his feelings throughout this song. And I really just love it for its just beautiful melody. 
melody, and this is sung by Danny Elfman. Next, I'm going to talk about what's this. I really like this one because it shows Jack's curiosity for when he pops into Christmas Town. Sorry if I spoil it for those who haven't seen it. And he's seeing so many different things he's never seen before. And I love how he shows all his curiosity for how everything works in the um, city and for the city, for the town and everything. And I really love how he's just so curious about what people are doing in the city and how they do it in do it and celebrate the holiday in the city. And this is sung by Danny Elfman as well. Next, I'm going to talk about Town Meeting. So Town Meeting is a pretty good song. It's like a really fun song sung by the whole cast of The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I love that it has all the characters being curious about what Jack finds when he goes into Christmas Town. And I just really love how they're asking questions while singing. And I think it's super cool. Next, I'm going to talk about... The next song I have is Jack's Obsession. I really like this because this shows Jack about how he's trying to figure out the whole Christmas um, holiday of how to celebrate, of how Christmas works and what to do for Christmas. I really, really like this one because he's really like focused on Christmas and it shows his curiosity and determination to find out about Christmas. Next, I'm going to talk, the next song I like is Making Christmas. I like this one because it shows all the characters trying to work hard to put together their own Christmas, even though they're gathering Halloween stuff, and they're trying to make it look like their own Christmas, which I think is pretty cool, and they're doing it of a mix of Christmas and Halloween together, and they're all just working together to make Christmas look like um to make it look like Christmas <laughs> despite the fact they don't really understand how Christmas works next I'm going to talk about Sally's song I like this one because she in this one sh Sally shows her determination and getting worried about Jack and how she did everything she could to stop him and how she well, wanted to make sure he was okay and she was trying to explain to something, but he just was not listening to her. And I love the fact that she, um, I love the fact that in this song, she really shows her feelings about how she's worried about Jack. Next, I'm going to talk about the song Oogie Boogie Man. This is sung by Ken Page. So I really like, uh, oh yeah, that Sally's song was sung by Catherine O'Hara, sorry. Oogie Boogie Man. I like this one because it has the introduction of the Oogie Boogie Man and who he is and what he's like. And I love how he explains his character. And it is a pretty good song because it is a very jazzy, fun song. And just the way he sings it, it's really, really good. And it's a very catchy, fun villain song. Next, I'm going to talk about Poor Jack. So... I like this one because it shows that Jack realizes from his mistakes and what he did and how he feels bad for all the mistakes he has done and how he realizes he went too far. And I really like that he realizes and will do anything he can to fix his mistakes in this song. And I just enjoy this song because it has quite a nice melody. And then I really like also how Jack realizes that he needs to stick with his own holiday. Next, I'm going to talk about the reprise. So the reprise is for What's This? I really like this one because I like this film, this song because it shows the character singing and being curious about the whole Christmas holiday when it's brought to them by Santa and how they kind of like learn like share each other's holiday and I really love this song because it shows bringing Christmas to the other holidays and despite the fact that Jack tried to take over Christmas he Santa Claus shares the Christmas holiday with the people in the Halloween 
in which I really, really like. And it's the reprise to What's This? And they're getting their own Christmas, which is super cool. So I would recommend The Nightmare Before Christmas to anybody who loves a uh, Christmas slash Halloween movie because this is such a good Christmas slash Halloween movie. You guys definitely would love it. And I also would recommend it to anybody who's a huge fan of Jack Skellington because he's such a cool character. And I also recommend this film for the songs because this film has such great songs in it and it's just a fun film in general so I just recommend it for its great storyline anybody who loves Tim Burton anybody who likes great songs and anybody who loves a good plot and good characters because this film has such a good plot and good characters okay so that was my review on the night right before Christmas for my older brother Walter I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'm sorry this is so long but thank you guys so much for watching Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. Oh my gosh, I'm talking so much. I, so much, I ran out of breath. Bye.